okay what's up guys girls um, so I made this little bitty tiny rodent coil and I wanted to show you um, it might be one of the smallest ones and if it's not the smallest one it might be one of the smallest ones with the smallest wire it is a number 43 gauge it is 0 0.056 of a millimeter pretty small so uh, I'm going to show you that first and I got another little coil I made which is even smaller so here you go. This is my little baby rodent coil. The lighting's kind of bad. Let me bring it over here. That's better. So you can see how small the wire is. It's actually on this little board so that I can uh, play with it. Mount it on the uh, there you can see how small the wire is. It's a tiny thing. There's my hand. Alright. So that's my little baby rodent coil. Um, it's 100 ohms on one winding and 110 on the other winding. The reason uh, for that is the uh, one winding's got three more wraps than the other because the wire broke. Uh, yeah, three wraps. The wire broke. Get that, right? So there you go, that's the tiny rodent coil, and now I'm going to show you something that I think you all will be very impressed with. This is the smallest Starship coil ever. I don't care who you are, if you made one smaller, you better post it on YouTube or let me see it, because this is pretty small. Alright, here's my regular Starship winding jig, and here's the jig that I wrapped my new Starship winding coil on. Yeah, it's a lot smaller. All right, you ready to see this thing? There it is. That's my tiny Starship coil. To get an idea, it's all upside down. There's a size for you. Look at my hand. That's how small it is smaller than my finger there you go so I'm gonna consider that one of the smallest starship coils matter of fact it's so small check this out it's so small that I can actually put it through my other coil yeah right tiny little thing. Now I'm going to power it up for you and show you what's going on. This is pretty cool. Let me get the camera set up. Alright, here's what I got for you. A little uh, 1.5 volt D battery. I'm sorry, C. A battery. Double A battery. So that's what I got for you. Double A. Alright, I'm going to hook it up. I got this coil sitting next to a magnet. And I'm just going to hook it up to 1.5 volts. See what happens. I got it jumping away, that's awesome. Flip it over and see what happens. Now it's attracting it. Power it off. Ready? Power on. Switch polarity. Here you go, I'm gonna switch polarity. <laughs> it's awesome. So that rolling our starship coil is approximately uh, it's about three eighths. Yeah, about three eighths of an inch. Alright, let me try this. Pretty strong little coil. So there you go. Tiny, tiny, tiny starship coil. It's freaking awesome. Um, not. Alright, how's that? Okay, I'm gonna show you a little trick. 
and you can use this trick on your big coils but making small coils here's what I've made to make these small coils easier um, I did try this with a bigger coil and it worked pretty good but I didn't mount the wire on it okay so here's what I got see this this is a pencil with wire on the end if it'll focus okay then inside of there the wire runs through there comes out this end and you can see the wire runs over top this tab that's so I can put my finger on it okay then it runs out the end here there's the wire alright this is how this thing works I'm gonna wind a couple of lines real quick this jig would work better if I had a smaller pins but this is all I had at the time that's okay here we go alright here we go so I got my little pen winding jig, okay? I'll hold my finger over this tab so that the wire has tension on it, okay? See, it's got tension on it. If I let go of the tab, I can pull it. So what I'm going to do is I got my start pen, just like I normally do. Okay? And then I can just run the wire through here. One winding. I'm going to go ahead and just wrap this back on here. Okay, then I usually take... Uh, something like this Dremel tool and kind of push the wire down on there so it's nice you can get it on there so it's flat if I had smaller pins this would work better but again I don't Let's see if I can get you a close-up shot of this so there you go one winding on my jig this is the coil that I made in that last video that I posted so you can see how much smaller it is it's awesome these things are not that hard to make this small especially if you have good jigs now the reason that I made this small of a coil was because a couple of the people that I'm uh, working with uh, are trying to make speakers so I'm trying to make a really small one and see what it sounds like so I'll see if I can hook that up real quick all right, guys, you have to listen really close, but it's it's working. I'm playing this directly off of my phone, my iPhone. So uh, here you go. Uh oh, had some problems. Hold on. There you go. I just wanted to show you something else real quick while I got this thing. Man, this lighting's terrible in here, isn't it, guys? Alright. See it bouncing around? It's playing good music. I mean, it's really got some... Some uh, good stuff there. Hold on a minute. Let me get it set back up. Alright, it is hard to hear. I'll hold it real close and be real quiet. There you go. That is my baby tiny Starship coil. Alright, I hope you all enjoyed that. And uh, keep on thinking, people. It's all about fun. If you ain't having fun, it ain't worth doing. It's my thinking, anyway. Uh, I just wanted to show you that. I thought that was pretty neat. I made that in a, a very short time, to be honest. It didn't take long. Oh. Oh. Mmm. It tastes like chicken. <clears throat> oh, sorry, guys. I had a little choke in there on my rodent coil, Starship coil. Anyway, those are the uh, plans right now. Just messing around. Um, I am wrapping my other rodent coil. Let me just go get it so I can show you. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. So here you go. I finally got started on this. This is the standard rodent coil with the uh, 3,000 plus turns of uh, 30 gauge wire inside of this. So it should be very interesting. I believe this is 20. Eh, it might be 20. I think the other stuff was 18. Um, I got a couple wraps on here. 
continuing this project and then I'll be wrapping my April wind on the same type of Taurus. Let me get that one. Alright, got it. There it is. Remember this, it's all marked out. So I will have two of these. One will have the original winding and one will have the nice Avatars winding. Now I'll be able to play with this one and energize it the way I want, which I made my document. Um, I haven't been able to because I haven't wrapped it. I'm actually deb deb uh, debating on how I want to wrap it. I got a couple different ideas, and uh, you know I don't know yet. Uh, I'm thinking about making some channels to lay the wire in, or, uh, or something like that. I just love how small this Starship coil is. Look at that. A little bit of a difference. This thing's awesome. Woohoo! Bouncy, bouncy. All right. I'm not going to bore you guys anymore. Um, a lot of people have been trying to get a hold of me, so you have to bear with me. Got a lot of people trying to contact me, and I've got a very little bit of time. Got a uh, wonderful wife and some kids. One kid right now, one on the way. So it's going to get busy, and uh, you all have to just bear with me, but I'll try my best to get with you. All right. Enjoy your uh, new adventure. This is awesome. What I did also... Um, was take my Starship coil winding. Actually, you know what? I'm going to show you a new coil I made while I'm showing coils. Why not? Okay. I'm not going to tell you what this is called. You're going to have to guess. Okay. I'll tell you what it's called. Maybe. Okay, you ready? Imagine if you're in space. Okay, and this is what you see float by. Okay, what's it called? Let me get you a better view. Looks like a starship coil. As you can see how it's wound. This is a starship coil. This is how this one's wound. I know it's kind of hard to see. It has been clear coated. Uh, my little bitty one has been clear coated as well. Um, my little starship coil. I put a little coating on it so it would stay together. This is actually holding together really nice. Uh, you can figure out the geometry if you know what it is. I'm just playing around with some tests on this coil, but I thought I'd show you it. Okay, you want to know what it's called? Here, let me make a sound effect. Oh, hold on, I got problems. All right. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, what is it? It's a satellite coil. Ta-da! All right, so this is a satellite coil. And actually, um, mm, you can either figure it out or I can just tell you. Basically, this pipe has to be in there because I wrapped the wire around the pipe. That's the way the geometry is. I'll uh, let you sit on that for a while. Okay, still, absolutely teeny tiny. It's just, I just can't believe how small this thing is. Look at it. All right. I'll leave you alone. Enjoy. I'll get back with everybody when I can. And, um, yeah. Hopefully I get some stuff wrapped. Uh, I actually got a guy that's going to send me, um, Rob Bush is going to give me a little controller. And I'm going to try to interface one of these boards. Check this out. Yeah. Look at all them transistors. And guess what? I got another one. Oh, oh. Whoops, here's a different one. I can interface these. This is 60 outputs. Um, here are my inputs, which is hex, and my outputs here. They're actually double sides. So there you go. Hopefully, I'll be able to interface this and do some crazy things with some coils. I plan on giving out some coil designs because I don't have time to build them all. So I'm just going to give them away. Um, to you nice people on the internet. Just don't steal it, run away, patent it, and then sue me for me making it for you. That'd be, that'd be not cool. Alright, I'm out. Go make yourself some teeny tiny starship coils with devices like this. It's all part of my thinking. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to make it easier for myself while I do it. Okay, I got to run. See you guys.